Hey everyone! Today we are going to talk about something that's both simple and powerful in C++. std system. So what exactly is std system? In short, it's a function that lets your C++ program run system commands, just like you would in a terminal or command prompt. It's defined in the CSTD lib header and you can use it like this. That string you pass to std system gets sent to the underlying shell. On Windows, that's usually cmd.exe, and on Unix-like systems, it's typically pin slash sh. Let's take a quick example. Suppose you want your program to list all files in the current directory. You could do something like this. When this runs, your program will temporarily pause and run the command. Whatever that command prints to the terminal, you will see in your program's output. So why is std system useful? Well, it can be quick and a dirty way to hook into tools that already exist on the system. Like compiling code, launching other programs, copying files or even calling Python scripts. It saves time when you don't want to write C++ code to do those things manually. But, and this is a big but, you have to be careful with the system. First, there is a performance hit. Spawning a shell and executing commands can be slow compared to native C++ solutions. Second, it can be dangerous. If you are passing user input directly into std system, you can open yourself up to command injection vulnerabilities. That's where someone could insert malicious shell commands into your input and potentially take control of the system. Also, because it's OS dependent, code using std system isn't always portable. A command that works on Linux might fail completely on Windows. And vice versa. So when should you use std system? Use it when you need something quick and you are sure it's safe and cross-platform compatibility isn't a priority. But for anything serious or security sensitive, look into native alternatives like C++ file system library, std thread or process management libraries like boost.process. That's it for now. Stud system is simple to use, but handle it with care. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the flippity flip!